All right, we're add, ready to add some information to it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to increase the font size just so we can see it a little bit better. I'm going to change it to, uh, let's change it to 15 just so I can see things a little bit better. And then we're going to start keying in information. So the first one is the name of the dog. I happen to have a dog. Her name is Girl and she is a Chihuahua. She is currently about five years old. She weighs about nine pounds. She is female. She is fixed and she is tri-color. I have another dog because I have a female Chihuahua named Girl. I also have a male Chihuahua. I bet you'll never guess what his name is. I'm actually going to leave his name off because I want to see if this really is a required field. So he is also a Chihuahua. He is four years old. He weighs right about 12 pounds. He is male. He is fixed and he is tan in color. Now the expectation is if I try to leave this record without filling in a required field, it should stop me from doing that. There it goes. It tells me you must enter a value in the dog name field. So when I press OK, now I can come back in here and I can add his name. Believe it or not, his name is Boy. Pretty Boy. I call him Boy for short. Her name is Baby Girl. So I would like to mention navigation through an Excel spread or an access. If you are familiar with Microsoft Office products such as Access, or if you've ever used tables in Microsoft Word, you should be familiar with the navigation. I can move from each one of the cells by using the tab key or the back tab, or excuse me, the shift tab. Shift tab moves me backwards, tab moves me forward. I can also use the arrow keys. So I can arrow up, I can arrow down, I can arrow left and arrow right. If I want to um, change the data in one of them, I'm going to have to use my cursor to click into to, uh, the cell. should also mention that you're going to notice that the age field, numeric fields, have a tendency to right justify. And I can see that text fields have a tendency to left justify. So what I can do is I can select a field, choose home, and I can center that field. Let's choose weight, and we will also center that field as well. Um, let's center the gender field. So I'm going to choose center. And then I'm going to leave, leave the dog name and the breed left justified. I could even center the, the color, the dog's color field as well. We can center that. Another one of the things that's probably familiar to you with an Excel spreadsheet is when I'm keying in information, I can change the width of the field just by dragging the border or by double clicking on it. If I double click on it, it will automatically resize it to the widest record or the widest cell. So I'm going to key in some more dog information about some other dogs. All right, so I have some additional dogs in here. If you want to use the same dogs that I am, you'll get the same results when we run our queries on it. Otherwise, you can put your own dogs in here. If I choose to double click on that border it will automatically resize it to the largest cell now that i have some records in my table the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to write some sql queries to pull information from that table during the normalization process we most likely broke off tables from the original table in order to uh, optimize it or move through the normal forms we are going to represent a table in first normal form when we go through this process now because we're going to use simplified SQL queries that only query information from one single table. You will learn how to pull information from multiple tables when you take the CS2550 class, but for now we're just going to pull information from just one table. So this would be a representation of a table in our first normal form.